My name is Vivian Choi. I'm a very proud owner of Pure Envy Spa Bar, located in Hayes Valley in San Francisco. This is a place where divas come to get pampered. Hey guys, Carol the Music here on Diva Talk tonight. And you know what? I'm at a fabulous, glamorous, elegant nail salon. That's right, you guys. We are here at Pure Envy Nail Salon right here in Hayes Valley, San Francisco. Everyone, please welcome the owner, Miss Vivian Shaw. Hi, Vivian. Hi, Kelda. How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> and you look great. Thank you. <laughs> so do you. Oh, thank you. You know, Diva always has to be a diva. Especially when they're getting the nails done, sweetheart. <laughs> wow, this is a beautiful salon. Like, right when my crew and I walked in here, we were like, this is the best ever. Like, Thank really you. cater to your Thank clients. You. Ow, darling. My goodness. I thought you were trained for this. You're creating a disaster. Yeah, that I don't like that. I don't like, yes, it, it, you might need to change the color, but oh well, it's already done, so. It takes a lot to be a diva. Yeah. So tell me, how did you get this started? Um, it started, actually, to tell the truth, it was from my boyfriend's idea. Oh, okay. He kind of mm -hmm. put the idea into my head when I got into a little slump from fashion design. Mm -hmm. And one day he just said, maybe you should take cosmetology and open up a spa. Mm -hmm. And this is what came back to me. So Vivian, tell me about your clientele. My clientele ranges in variety uh -huh. of the neighborhood. We have clientele from the Opera House and what? Symphony. Yes. Uh -huh. So you have singers in here? Yes, we do. Like <laughs> singers? Yes, we do. Here. Opera singers are contracted, so they come in during the season. So I get to see them every season. Uh -huh. They come in during the opening season time and they say goodbye when it's closing time. And we see them the following year. Vivian, you are doing such good things for women, pampering them. I'm, I'm loving the fact I'm getting pampered right now. I'm getting a, a lovely manicure. It's looking good. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about your eyelashes. I understand that you uh, you specialize in the eyelashes. Yes. Eyelashes okay. are like one of the biggest thing right now. They've mm -hmm. been going on for years back in Egypt time, mm -hmm. but now it's not only available to the celebrities. Mm -hmm. It's also available to every any normal girl that wants to have glamorous lashes. That wants to look like a yes. celebrity. Yes. And mm -hmm. they're extensions. You they don't are, do glue no. glue ones. They they're are, extensions. They're mass strip. There okay. are individual lashes that we apply individually to your existing lashes. Mm -hmm. So it is time consuming. The mm -hmm. whole set will take about 90 minutes to two hours. 90 minutes? Yes. Wow! It's like getting my hair done or something. <laughs> I mean, we average out uh -huh. 150 to 200 per eye. Per eye? Yes. We do have quite a lot. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard also hear that you, you use cat fur for eyelashes as well, right? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Not cat fur. Uh, that would be bad for cat allergy. Oh, okay. And I see, and I'm allergic to cats anyway, so that but just you love wouldn't. Cats. I love them. exactly. I love them, but I'm allergic to them. <laughs> no, we do have minks, uh -huh. but they are synthetic minks. Okay. They're not. Um, they're not real because again. Uh, we do mm -hmm. have to be cautious about people who are allergic to mink furs. Mm -hmm. So there are synthetic minks. Mm -hmm. That's what most of my clients tell us are wearing on the line. Okay, all right. Cool, cool. So tell me about this permanent makeup that you guys do. It's a semi-permanent makeup uh -huh. um, pigmentation that we apply to the face. Mm -hmm. And people who just have, maybe they don't have lashes, I mean, um, eyebrows yeah. or eyeliners, they just want to roll out of bed looking beautiful every day. Really? So. It, you know what, it's funny um, that you're saying that. I hear that people are getting uh, permanent freckles on their face too. Yes, we do have clients. We have two clients who come in here every often uh -huh. to want to add more freckles. Really? Okay. Well, I have so many of them, they can have mine. <laughs> like all <Natural>. over. <laughs> yeah, it's natural. Wow. That's cool though. So, uh, so again, it's then it's not, it, or is it? Is it permanent or? It's semi-permanent. Okay, they semi -permanent. last from three to five years. Really? Um, clientele has come back for touch-ups every uh -huh. 
a year, every year, yeah. or how often they want to come in. Okay. If they prefer that it just fades away, sure, and so that they have new shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is why some are permanent. It's not like the old days where mm -hmm. it was permanent makeup. Right. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. it's it yes. could be temporary. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like that. Great, great. So tell me, Vivian, what advice would you like to give to um, aspiring entrepreneurs who want to eventually open up their own nail shop one day in, in Hayes Valley? <laughs> I would have to say they have to love what they're doing. Okay, mm -hmm. yes, and of course. Another plus thing is they should know how to do everything themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. They need to be able to be the one to be the backup. Mm -hmm. That's always going to be able to pick up. Mm -hmm. If something happens, mm -hmm. you could pick up right there and do it on your own. So I'm assuming that's what you do often. Like yes. say, mm -hmm. if you're short or shorter yes. on staff, mm -hmm. then you'll... Then I have to be the one to pick up. Do you mm -hmm. do that often? Um, more, more so because I love clients mm -hmm. and I like to engage with the clients. Mm -hmm. So I like to do the work myself mm -hmm. too. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what keeps them coming back. When they, when they have the owner doing it, hey, <laughs> the, the, the one who specializes in it. <laughs> Awesome. Pure Envy Spa Bar. Specializing in eyelash extensions, manicure and pedicure, skin care, scalp pigmentation, waxing, and more. For more information, go to www.pureenvyspabar.com. I don't have a lot of time to explain this. So pay close attention if you want to survive in this world. My fellow Americans. Everyone thought that fallen angels, demons, the Illuminati, and the New World Order were just conspiracies. A New World Order. A new world order. A new world order. A new world order. If a conspiracy is true, it's no longer a conspiracy. Clientels who are slowly balding. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, it's like camouflaging so that it looks like you have hair in those areas. Okay. There, there's no hair there. It's uh -huh. just got pigmentation. Okay. Usually, our female clientels are usually ones who just gave birth mm -hmm. and they're just losing hair. Like sure. Right. And they do create baldness here and there. Mm -hmm. And they come in and we like to help camouflage those areas. Now, do you have a specialist who does yes, that or is do. it you? We, no. Okay. I specialize in eyelash extensions. Okay. We have Michini, mm -hmm. Kim. She's our tattoo um, mm -hmm. pigmentation artist. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, she couldn't make it here today. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll definitely be back. So, success. Well, thank you, Kelda, for coming by. Yes, it's so beautiful here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is Vivian Choi, and we're here at Pure Envy right here in Hayes, San Francisco. Check you out soon. Pure Envy Spa Bar. Specializing in eyelash extensions, manicure and pedicure, skin care, scalp pigmentation, waxing, and more. For more information, go to www.pureenvyspabar.com. I don't have a lot of time to explain this. So pay close attention if you want to survive in this world. My fellow Americans.
Everyone thought that fallen angels, demons, the Illuminati, and the New World Order were just conspiracies. A New World Order. A New World Order. A New World Order. A New World Order. If a conspiracy is true, it's no longer a conspiracy. Welcome to Diva Talk Tonight. I'm your host, Kelda Music, and I have a lovely guest for you guys today. Her name is Skylar Blanchard Crowder, and she is the designer and founder of Skylarware. Everyone, please welcome Skylar. Oh, thank you, Diva. It's, I'm so happy to be on the show. Yes, how are you, darling? Fine. fine. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for coming on the show. You're so welcome. Thank you for having us. Yes, we've been in contact for so long. We've been working with each other. We even had a few outings together. Yes, we have. We have done so many major things together. I mean, you started our princess skirts. Yes, I helped you with the launch of the Queen for a Night. We yes. did the promo video yes. at the shop. Well, yeah. And that's where we stopped. So we're picking it back up again. We're picking it back. Hey, sometimes we all need a break. Yeah. <laughs> a wonderful break. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, you know what? I just want to tell you it's an honor to wear these lovely dresses and just by looking at all of your outfits here, you continue to, to grow. Oh yes, definitely, definitely continue to grow. Yeah. yeah, so tell me, what was the very first piece that you made? The very first piece was- Or that you designed, <laughs> the first piece you designed. <laughs> A baby doll dress. Really? Yeah, that's when baby doll dresses were in. I think mm -hmm. it was like 1992. Mm -hmm. It was really beautiful. A lot of beautiful fabrics, print mm -hmm. and floral fabrics. Mm -hmm. So the dress was like fuchsia print, mm -hmm. uh, yellow print, pink print. It was just really great. You love your bright oh, colors. I do. Your bright and beautiful colors. The colors were really bright. But yeah. The girls loved them. The the dress came off the shoulders. Mm -hmm. It was just really nice. I really love that line. Well, that's you beautiful. Know. And look at you now. Yes. You've blossomed and you've created cute skirts, colorful skirts and tops. Yes, and bags that and are. Bags. <laughs> pet, pet bags. Pet bags. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, they're there. Their therapy bags. Yeah, so yeah. You know, sometimes we just need yeah, something we just to need just something rub on. on to, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So, good. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, uh, how did Skylaware come about? I started working for a manufacturing company in San Francisco. Okay. And the thing about that company, I learned everything, mm -hmm. all aspects of the job. Mm -hmm. um, how they sew the clothing, it was like 40 sores, mm -hmm. uh, pattern making, how they made the patterns, mm -hmm. how they laid the fabric down, the check for flaws. So you were really hands-on with oh, it? Oh, very hands-on. Mm -hmm. uh, I was the order entry specialist, mm -hmm. and what the, the sores would do after they finished their job for today, they mm -hmm. would bring me their tickets, mm -hmm. and I would input their tickets, and that's how they got paid at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. also, I worked with buyers when the reps brought in their orders, mm -hmm. you know, from like Neiman's or Macy's or some big store, mm -hmm. you know, I would also enter that into in the system because that's how they made their money. So mm -hmm. that was the best part of the job. You mm -hmm. know, I knew how orders were taken. I knew how they were delivered. Mm -hmm. I knew how garments were made. Mm -hmm. You know, it was just great. Wow. What a multitasking. I know. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So great. And so... The, what did you do after that? Did well, you... after that, the company folded. As oh, we know, okay. a lot of the uh, companies fold. Mm -hmm. uh, so I work. I started working for this other company, and I was just not satisfied. Mm -hmm. I was just very sad, not happy, you know, heartbroken. Uh, and mm -hmm. at that time, I was talking a lot to my cousin, and she was over in Germany. Mm -hmm. So I made the connection. She said, "Well, there's jobs here," mm -hmm. and I'm like, "Okay." Mm -hmm. So I sold everything and went there. So you moved to Frankfurt, I, Germany. With my patterns. With your patterns. 
Oh my god! Didn't know what to expect. I yeah. just knew I wasn't leaving them. So you, you, you but you yeah. left the family here. <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> not the family. Too Look, bad. the patterns are coming, but y'all staying here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you moved out there, and then what did you do? Um, I started looking for a job, got a job, and mm -hmm. then I just went to work. Um, they had this little fashion click there, and I just started mm -hmm. asking around who made patterns yeah. and stuff, and someone gave me this lady's mm -hmm. name, mm -hmm. and she was um Asian. She she mm -hmm. didn't speak English. Okay. I didn't speak Mandarin. How did you guys work together? How Those you? industrial patterns, she knew them very well. So you spoke through we patterns. We spoke to her. <laughs> yeah, I know. We sure did. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but because it, it's a lot to fashion, you mm. know, and they won't design for you, they won't tell you what to do. But if you can come and have your patterns already ready, mm -hmm. then they'll make the clothing for you. Yeah, all you have to do is choose the fabric, the, the zippers, the buttons, whatever it takes. Mm -hmm. You know, they usually have thread, okay, and they'll make it up for you, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm assuming she completed your oh, collection for you. Oh, beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. collection. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I got on the phone in Germany and I started okay. calling around, mm -hmm. you know, to see if I could showcase my collection. Calling different stores, different boutiques. Stores. Mm -hmm. And an Italian store answered. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay. They were really excited. Somebody from the U.S. They go, are you from America? Oh, America? Yeah. And I'm like, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I said, yes, come in, come in. Really? Yeah, so uh -huh. I went in and um, they looked at the clothing from the inside. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you looking on the inside. It took me days to get this fabric. Uh, don't you like it just <laughs> yeah, looking at it? Why you gotta look all in and start? I you know the clothes were turned inside out, and he's looking. You're like, hey, you're ruining yeah. my clothes, man. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> so I asked him. I'm like, why are you looking inside the clothes? He mm -hmm. said, I want to make sure that they're sewn properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm like, oh, okay. He said, very good sewer. Mm -hmm. I'm like, thank you. Mm -hmm. You know. And he said, but it's the only one problem. And I'm like, okay. There was a problem. Yeah. He said, this is spring. You did a spring collection. Oh. And I'm like, oh. He said, you have to bring me a fall collection, mm -hmm. you know, because they had fall swatches in, new fabrics in for fall. Mm -hmm. Just missed that entirely, you mm -hmm. know. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. And that's how it is. They like to they like to work ahead. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Fashion is six months, sometime a year ahead. Mm -hmm. Pure Envy Spa Bar. Specializing in eyelash extensions, manicure and pedicure, skin care, scalp pigmentation, waxing, and more. For more information, go to www.pureenvyspabar.com. I don't have a lot of time to explain this. So pay close attention if you want to survive in this world. My fellow Americans. Everyone thought that fallen angels, demons, the Illuminati, and the New World Order were just conspiracies. A New World Order. A New World Order. New World Order. A New World Order. If a conspiracy is true, it's no longer a conspiracy.
know, right now is fall. Spring is being made. So they're okay. They're yeah. making spring now. Spring is, should be already made. It should be hitting the stores like now. Uh -huh. You know, just in the um, distribution area, ready to come out. So soon they'll be working on summer in about a couple. In months January. There. Yeah, in January. January. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's like a buy bikini then. Yeah, that's <laughs> why you have all these white cells and stuff. You know, uh -huh. January, February, because they need yeah. to move out. That's and right. They bring in spring. And they put everything on clearance. Yes. Just to get it out there. Fall. Everything's on clearance. Yeah. Yay, yeah. I can't wait. Right, right. <laughs> then we have something for next fall. You know, right. <laughs> okay. So back to your experience in Europe, you were there, and you were there for about, what, a year, you said? A year. Uh -huh. Okay, and then you came back to the U.S.? Yes, I did. And then what happened when you came here? I started working at Macy's. Okay. Hey, yeah. look, you got to start somewhere <laughs> yeah. again. You know, hey, get back up on yes. your feet. Lingerie. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. the lingerie department draws everywhere. It's just <laughs> draws everywhere. <laughs> That's cool. I worked at Macy's too. Yeah, I love Macy's. Yeah, that's really yeah, cool. Macy's fun. So you were multitasking. Yeah. You worked at Macy's and then you were still developing Skylar. Oh, definitely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and so did you open up a shop by then? Uh, later on, I opened up a shop and, uh -huh. you know, just where we met, where you came. Yes, and that was a beautiful shop. You got mannequins everywhere, dresses, girls prancing around yes. in the in the princess skirts. Yes. You even had like a little kitchen too. I know. You did. I, I was so impressed by that shop. It was amazing. I love that shop. It was just really wonderful yeah. here in West Oakland. You know, just trying to stay within the community. Just mm -hmm. you know, trying to um, you know, build with the community. That's mind. right. Now, do mm -hmm. you still have that shop? Or oh no, we're online now. Oh, you are. Online is so much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about how. Yeah, it's safe, cost less inventory. We have to hold. I mm -hmm. mean, online is so much better. It gives you more freedom to mm -hmm. do a lot more things. Um, I'm sure the sales increased as well. Sales has increased mm -hmm. tremendously. Because you just think about it, everyone's online. Mm -hmm. Everyone's on social media. Everybody's online. It's just, you just got to mm -hmm. click on the website, yes. boom, you're there. Everybody has a phone. Everyone has a phone, and yeah. And they're on that phone all day mm -hmm. long. Yes, where you want to be on the phone. Right, on Sky on Skylaware.com. <laughs> <laughs> that's where you want to be. You want to be on that phone. Oh order just a click to order. That's right. That's click away. Right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I also understand that you share your gift with the community as well. Yes. Oh, can you elaborate on that? I love the I love, I love the working with community. community. I love yeah. the community. That's um funny. the first person who recognized um my talent was mm -hmm. Dwayne Wiggins. The Dwayne Wiggins and Ronald Muhammad. From Tony Tony Tony. Yeah. It feels good, yeah. Ooh, it feels good. Hey, du, 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 du. Right. shout out to Dwayne Wiggins. Dwayne, Mar that's the homie, and Ronald Muhammad. And Thank Ronald you. Muhammad. Yes, um, they were um, offering opportunity in the community for small business, and they just randomly came and knocked on your door. Not only this did door? they came in. <laughs> came knocked at my door, they came inside my house. Wow. I, I was like, Dwayne? <laughs> Did you want some tea or something? Like, what, what? <laughs> and it was just really great what they mm -hmm. were doing, you know, mm -hmm. and he offered me to come to the Lemon Life Gallery mm -hmm. to um, showcase my um, my work. Okay. You know, and it was really nice. And that's where I met Attitude No Healing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they work within the community with artists like designer, visual orders, artists, Artists that paint murals, mm. things like that. They, we All go types in, of artists. Yes. Yeah. We mm -hmm. go inside the school district, the Oakland Unified School District. They had a contract mm -hmm. or a grant with the district. Okay. Where they uh, help designers like myself and mm -hmm. artists to come in and teach the community. Oh, well. nice. So they would sponsor that. Yeah, okay. it was really nice. It was really nice. So artists of different backgrounds yes. would come in there mm -hmm. and teach and the kids. teach the kids. Yeah. To, at the school, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, you can work at like, you know, um, Skyline, mm -hmm. Oakland Tech, sure. you know, yeah. all the schools, yeah, you know, yeah, it was yeah. really great. I learned a lot from that. And where did you go after that? Independent Living Skills. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Hagenberger, I was working there, mm -hmm. um, helping foster kids, mm -hmm. you know, uh, we gave events for them, okay. you know, they didn't have places, you know, to eat much, yeah. so we would... Uh, provide food for them. Mm -hmm. uh, they would cook barbecue and things like that for oh. them. Uh, mm -hmm. We would help them with transportation to back and forth to school. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they needed. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah, we were yeah. just there for them. And I loved that job to the point that my niece was calling me from mm -hmm. Sacramento to mm -hmm. work in Sacramento. Sure. I'm like, oh no, I'm fine. Yeah. I love this job. Right. I'm not leaving, I'm not leaving foster kids. Yeah. You know, I really, they, 
you know, I just really love them. Right. And she was like, okay. But she called me again. She said, Auntie, are you sure? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yeah. I'm Look, sure. I thought I told you. <laughs> But then later on, they were like, oh, Skylar, your position is ending. Oh, okay. Hold that thought. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> I said, hello. Tiffany. <laughs> I'm like, are you there? I can take the job now. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fellow yes. Asa. <laughs> and um, I've been at that job a year and a half. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I work for Salva Charter Schools mm -hmm. in Sacramento. Okay. And they are under the direction of 13 schools. But I work um, with five of those schools. With five of the schools. How many yeah. classes do you teach you with? Uh, five. Five classes? Mm -hmm. Five classes. Fashion design. And it's in Sacramento? It's in Sacramento. So you commute? Mm -hmm. I oh, drive wow. back and forth. Oh, my God. Well, hey, as long as you enjoy it, you're doing what you love. Well, I have a passion. Yeah. And, and my kids are like, Miss Kyler, you're never late. I say, I'm never late. <laughs> I'm, I'm always time. on time. If it's snowing, I'm going to be here. So yeah. make sure you have your work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm there. You Definitely. Know? Yeah, Chicago. I love it. I really love working with kids. Well, Skyler, we love you too. Yes, thank you. <laughs> you are so awesome. Thank you so much for being on thank the show. You. Thank you so much. I look forward to our future and everything that we have coming. So and we have so many things coming, but we are on the <laughs> Thank you, Skylar. Thank you, Diva. <laughs>